weekly roundup. Division two time Dart. How you going, mate? No, was he good? Thanks yourself. Pretty good, Still mate. Still no TJ. He's been promoted. He doesn't want to do anything to do us anymore. We're a bit Channel Seven on here. Channel Seven. Yeah, I'm hearing. Well. I'm hearing they've got the new Big bucks, ultra, yeah. ultra wide lens just to <laughs> fit him and BT. <laughs> Roving Tom and the checkbook out. Roving, Roving Tom, can you just imagine it? Oh, mate, oh. his element. Oh, oh what do you have? Cameras on him. Oh. Anyway, let's get on to the real Indeed. footy. Don't worry about that other stuff. Let's get on to the real footy. It was down at uh, Camden Over. It was uh, Henley just moving along nicely. Camden around, we said. Yep. Too. Henley 13 13 91, defeating Foss Camden 7 8 50. 41 points to margin there in the end. Uh, the Sharks just, you know, doing what they need to. Yep. The same, we're still here, we're still top, and yep. that's what we need we're to still be top. Camden. We don't want to be in Div 2. Pretty Correct. simple. Yep. Anyway, for Foss, we had Harris kicking two with a few other blokes kicking singles as well, with Cross, Bergsma and Tui were in the best for the Phantoms, mate, and for the Sharks. Yeah, we've got to Longman with four, Radley with three, with Lane with two, yep. and individuals to five other players, with Longman, Enright and Geddes in amongst the best. So, um, yeah, young Jackie Enright, obviously... Son of um, Enright played for the Eagles, so yep. he's good to see him play an A grade. He's doing so very well. The Sharks just doing what they yeah. need to do. And the next game, it was uh, at Haslam Oval. It was whew, Old Iggy's, 16 19, 115. Given Pembroke, yeah. whose year was, it's been really, really poor to be brutally honest compared with you. Last year as compared well, to so last yeah, year. 4 4 28. Um, you know, at home, you shouldn't be losing games of footy like that. Eight goals to two in the first quarter, you know, down by eight goals in at three at half time and a bit of a rain must have come in the third quarter but um, that second half but I tell you old he's just really probably broke probably Pembroke's season yeah. really, broke their broke their hearts a little bit. So yeah, Evans too kicking goals, yep. so he obviously he's either not playing or obviously a bit of a the gap there. I don't think Jimmy Owen's been playing much no, either. I reckon he exactly. might have a few oh, little little niggles. Maybe, so, so yeah. So anyway, uh, for Pembroke we had Mason, Pengelly, Curno and Davey all kicking singles with Davey, Fauzon and Jarvis reading the best for the Kings, mate. For the oldies. Yeah, we've got McNeil, Christofferson, Reynolds, Kieran and Valana all with two with yep. the individuals. They did spread it right quite a bit then yep. after about seven players there with McNeil, Christofferson and Abbott in amongst the best players. But <clears throat> Good with the Iggy's, that does keep their final, they're sitting fifth, equal with six, so again keeps that final's fifth alive. <clears throat> and the next game, this was a bit of a shock for me, <laughs> pardon the pun, yes. um, but it was Gazer, 12-11, mm. 83, gave Sacred Heart, who kicked absolutely terrible, terrible football, 5-17-47. What do we say? That's bad kicking? Bad footy. Oh, look at you go. I've written it down. Oh, yeah, you have to. <laughs> you have to in your notes, eh? Look at this guy. So, uh, anyway, for, so 12-11 to 5-17. So, uh, Benny Bioli kicked three. Kennedy with two. McCready with two as well. With a few other blokes kicking singles. With Papa Christos, Gruber and Aloka in the best for the Eagles, mate. And for the shop boys... We've got, uh, is that Karuko? Yep. Uh, Kakuro. Kakuro, yeah. Yep. With individuals to follow the players. With Lava, Foster, Sperling in amongst the best. So, um, yeah, I agree with that. Um, big, by that margin too, I think. I think yeah. uh, shocks have, they've been heavyweights during the year and uh, puts a bit of pressure on them too um, in the finals. Shock, they're yep. just one game clear now in your fifth spot, so a bit of pressure on the boys. So we're travelling a lot nicer than that, so, mm. <coughs> excuse me. Um, the next game was down there at Max Amber Sportsfield, sorry, up at Max Amber Sportsfield, I should say. It was the Raggies, Athelstan, 14 8 92, defeating only McKeady's, as Trevor used to say, 8 6 54. You know, Athelstan, yeah. have a quick look at your thing for me. Where are they actually sitting at the moment? Athelstan the third? Sitting third. Yeah. They've, I'll tell you, I reckon Athelstan are a bit of a dark they're horse. Just, they're just fighting around. I reckon they're a bit of a dark they're horse. They've some good games, lost some games they should have. They're just still sitting in third. Yeah, yeah only, you know, Athelstan got out early. It was, it was three goals to one in the first quarter. Then only come back and kicked, you know, it was six to five in, yeah. at half time. And then Athelstan just went, nah, we're not having this. We're going to put the foot down a little bit. And only only kicked two goals after half time. You know, Athelstan kicked nine. They are Taylor two hours, really. Yeah, that's it. But that's, I mean, they've won the same amount of games as Foss Camden. Would you think? But they think, gee whiz, well, you wouldn't have thought that because Foss Camden had been to the, one of the echelons during the year. Yep. Anyway, for Athelstan, we had Sykes with three, Westover with two, as did Lukey Randa. Oh. Dio Tavelli, Dio Tavelli, there well we go. Done. He kicked two, as did Elliot. 
And Cluse and West Over Sheedy and Owen were in the best for the raggings, mate. And for Only the Jets, yep. uh, we've got to Ch Ch Jamison with two, McConnell with two, Hissip with two, and I'll say Harris is on an individual score there with Stuart, Donald, and Pitch in amongst the best. So, so well, yeah, it's. I think they're just, you know, they, I reckon they're just sneaking up on a few teams, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, the last game of the round, and it was. Broadview, Jacko's boys, getting another win, beating Scotch Old Collegians. It was Broadview 12 9 81, defeated Scotch 10 9 69 up there at Scotch College, mate. Um, yeah, Broadview just. Yeah, I think Scotch could have won this. I mean, if there's a chance to win another game for the Mate, they're four goals up at half, that's yeah, three quarter time. Right. It's exactly Don't right. score. Don't even bother the scorers in the yeah. last quarter and let Broadview come out and kick six goal one. Yep, exactly. So, great, win. Um, great win for the Tigers. Jacko would have been loving it. Scotch. No. Exactly, they're still sitting bottom scotch. They could have been probably just saved with a little bit of relegation yep. stage there because Broadview would have been, been Pembroke, Broadview three wins. With um, if Scotch would have been the four wins, so anyway, for, to beat. for Scotch, we had Thorpe and Madden both kicking three with four other blokes um, kicking singles with Giles, Lagonic, and Broderick in the best for Scotch. Waiting for Broadview. Yeah, you've got Fergus with uh, four, Pierce, and Slade, and Carter with two, and a couple of other individuals yep. there with Baker. <laughs> Mind you, are you? Papianu? Yeah, well done, Dust. Ryan. Well done, mate. Well done. He's done it. English lessons are getting English better. English lessons with Dust is getting better. <laughs> the tutoring is certainly paying off. Oh, dear. Anyway, we'll have a quick look at the ladder, Dust. We're having a bit of a brief discussion about it as we went along. We've got Henley yeah. sitting top at 14 and 1. Foss, 10 and 5. Level with Athelstan with 10 and 5, with only probably 2% uh, there in between them. With Gazer sitting 4th. Shock sitting 5th. Old Iggy's a game away from Shock. Only the same, Broadview, Pembroke and Scotch. I think Broadview are probably going to save oh, themselves oh, that, after last week, yes. from relegation, I reckon. I reckon that um, they've just done enough. I reckon they'll, you know, they've got 2%. And the Jack will be pretty happy. I think he'll be working hard. That, that'll yeah. be their little, uh, their little mini final from week in, week out now to make sure that they stay there in Div 2. Stay in Div 2. Two. It's like regroup, yep. regroup and um, to hopefully, you know, survive. Anyway, we'll move on to this week's games. Down at, uh, it's at Audi Arena for some reason this week. It's Sacred Heart taking on Foss Camden. Oh, it is at Thebe Audi, yep. Audi Arena. So look, at Sacred Heart, after their loss, they may have come back with Avengers, but not against Foss Camden. Foss for me as well. I yeah. think Foss have just got a bit too much firepower. And things don't get a little bit easier for Jack Hope. But no. a broad view over, it's broad view taking on Henley. Oh, Henley, you're going to give him a bit of a footy lesson, I think. I think so too. I think Henley uh, will win that one comfortably. Um, out at Kingswood Oval, it's only Mercedes taking on Pembroke. Oh, look, only Jets, I think, for me. Only Jets for you? Yep. Yep, same for me, I reckon. Yeah. They'll, especially at home, they'll get the job done. Up at Scotch College, Scotch taking on Athelstan. Oh, Athelstan, I think. Got to give Scotch a bit of a footy lesson here again. So, but um, just a. Uh, they're sitting third, as we, we talked a lot about Athelstan before. Yep. But say, hey, they're just sitting nicely in third position. But I think Scotch's going to put them a, maybe just to set that second spot. Maybe yep. Third or second spot, just that to, to double chance. Just get so, themselves, yeah, just probably just chance. secure the fact that they got the double chance, yep. I reckon. And um, game of the round, mate, out at Hunter Park. It is Old Iggy's taking on Gazer. Yeah, so we've got uh, sixth, but Old Iggy's, if they must, this must yep. be a must, must win, because obviously they're one game out of the five. They uh, win this, they've got the chance of getting in the five, obviously. Getting in the five, yeah. Depending on what happens to Shock and Gazer. So um, I'm going to go for Old Iggy's here. You're going to go for Old Iggy's, are you? No, I think Jards is boys. I think Jards. They could win last week. They could win last week, and I just think I think Gays are gonna win this one, mate. So anyway, that's it for Division Two for this week. I hope you enjoyed our show. We'll uh, catch you all again next week. See you later. See ya.